MS-DOS is home to some of the best games of all time. So why not use your Chromebook to play some of those MS-DOS classics? Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you a way to play your favorite DOS games in Chrome OS. The software I'm going to be using is Magic DOS Box. This is an Android application, so you want to make sure that you have the Android App Store installed on your Chromebook. I didn't use the Linux install of DOSBox or the Chrome Web Store version of DOSBox because they were very buggy and had a lot of issues with them. Because of Magic DOSBox's superior mouse and keyboard controls, it was what worked best for me. It costs $3.49, but if you want DOS games on your Chromebook, it's currently your best option. There is a free version, so you can try it out first before buying. Before you install Magic DOSBox, you want to get all your DOS games in a folder where your Android files are located. Remember the folder because you will need to refer to it later. Next, open up the Android Play Store on your Chromebook, search for Magic DOSBox, and install it. When you open up Magic DOSBox, you will be greeted to a set of questions. You are first asked if you want public or private settings. I prefer public because if I uninstall Magic DOSBox, my settings will still be saved. That's not the case if you choose private. Next, you have the option to choose what icons you want to be used for the menus. One choice is to have fantasy characters as icons. The other choice is to use regular icons. I personally like the simplicity of the regular ones because the fantasy icons confuse me about what they are supposed to do. So now we are done with the initial settings and we are shown the main Magic DOS box window. There is one more setting I like to change that improves the usability of the program for me. Click on this gear icon, then click on main menu, then check the main program checkbox. What this does is not exit out of Magic DOS box when you exit out of the game profile. Now click the checkbox to save. The next step is to create a profile for a game. Click on the plus icon here. Now you have some options. We want to click on new game, but if you want to create a folder to store a specific set of games, let's say for example you want to create a folder for racing games, you can click on the collection icon. A collection is just a folder. Anyway, we want to create a new game profile, so click on that icon. Now you have more options. On the title text box, type the name of the game. I want to create a profile for Warcraft, so I'll set Warcraft as the title. Next, for the Drive C text box, I want to set it to where all my DOS games are stored, so when I exit out of a game, I can still browse the DOS box prompt and manually load a game. Click on the Choose button, now, navigate to the folder where you saved the games to and hit the checkbox. Scroll down to the software section and in the main program text box, we want to select the executable of the game you want to run. Click Choose. I'll navigate to the folder with the executable and I'll select the war.exe file. Every game will have a different name for the executable, so you must select the appropriate file for a different game. Finally, we want to choose where the setup program is of the game we want to play. The setup program will allow us to change settings such as sound card and video options. It's not required that you do this, but if you want to try out different graphics or sound settings, then you should set this up. Also, some games won't even have a setup program, so you can ignore this text box for those games. Anyway, click on the Choose button, navigate to the Games folder, and select the setup file. For this game, it's called setup.exe. Like the main executable, this file will differ from game to game. You can leave the rest of the settings alone and just click on the checkbox at the bottom to save your game profile. Now, we can run the game by just double clicking on the profile we created. And now we have the game running. When you exit the game, you will be taken to the DOS box prompt. To exit that, hit the back button on your Chromebook. Then, hit the Quit icon and confirm the power off. Or, you can just type Exit on the DOSBox prompt. And that's how you set up a game in Magic DOSBox. You can keep doing this to as many DOS games as you have. And like I mentioned before, you can create collections so you can organize your games into folders. If you want to edit the profile again, just click and hold on the Profiles icon and then click on the Edit icon. So that's how you play DOS games on your Chromebook. This gives me the options to play some of my favorite games growing up.
games like Warcraft 2, Might and Magic Dark Side of Zine, or Jet Fighter. What are some of your favorite DOS games? Let me know in the description. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll speak to you next time.